that can make the dead come to life. A few local paramedics who tried it out on a local heart attack victim were a little bit surprised. And once you see it and you're about to, you'll never look at CPR the same way. Our Myra Sanchez tells you about the rescue pump. It's new at 10. I was working out down at the YMCA, and I, I felt something uh, definitely wrong. I, I knew what it was. I knew it was my heart racing. Steve Dunn thought he'd be able to drive the mile and a half to Mercy Hospital in Oshkosh. And I was fighting, uh, you know, passing out a lot of the way down. And I, I made it, uh, you know, right here to the entrance. And it's where Dunn's car crashed into a snowbank right at this entrance of the hospital. We were called Mercy's parking lot for somebody with a heart problem. Barely in his 50s. It was not likely Steve Dunn would live to see his three children again. He was uh, basically dead. Okay. That's when Oshkosh paramedics used a device many have never used before. Many have never even seen before. This is basically a CPR rescue pump. It was part of our study for the American Heart Association. It's an experimental device that so far had been tested only on animals. The Oshkosh Fire Department agreed to be part of the research trying it on people. When they used it on Steve Dunn, within seconds, he came back to life. I grabbed a paramedic that was trying to do CPR and said, hey, what are you doing? He said, stop doing CPR on my chest. That was his first words. <laughs> so he did. And he went back out. It's kind of fade to black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the first time it's ever happened to me. So, Yeah, we've seen a lot of things in the years, but uh, never had people that didn't have a heartbeat talk to you. <laughs> Paramedics started pumping again. And again, Steve Dunn woke from a dead state looked at them and spoke. I was impressed. I've, I've been a paramedic for almost 30 years and I've never seen anybody talk to me when I'm doing CPR on them. The rescue pump pushes blood out of the heart more efficiently than standard CPR. But here's the key. A suction cup draws blood back into the heart and brain. It works in tandem with a mouthpiece that controls airflow to the victim. And it creates suction within the chest on the upstroke of CPR. Dr. Tom Ofterheide and another researcher spent 15 years developing this. Test results show 53% more lives are saved with the system than with standard CPR. Widely applied in the United States equates to roughly 8,000 people each year in the U.S. alone that normally today are declared dead that would go home to their jobs, wives, husbands, and families. And saving lives is not the only benefit. Blood flow to the brain is increased, so heart attack victims avoid brain damage. And about 10% of patients woke up during CPR while their heart was not beating because of the effectiveness of blood flow with this device combination. Steve Dunn can attest to that. After being clinically dead twice, he returned to his three boys in his teaching job at UW Oshkosh. Well, I'd like to say that I've been to the other side and I come back with messages for you, but uh, I don't have anything specific for you. <laughs> I was waiting for one of those scenes like touched by an angel for the light to go into the background and it's like, I'm not really who I said I am because it was, it was freaky. This device that can actually make the dead come back to life is something they'd like to have on all their rigs one day. Seeing people actually um, develop a blood pressure great enough to regain consciousness during CPR was absolutely amazing. Steve Dunn will never forget the day he was pumping iron and his heart stopped pumping. And what gave him a second chance? In Oshkosh, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Oshkosh firefighters say they saw similar results in other patients they've treated with the rescue pump system during their four-year testing period. Now the results are being sent to the FDA with the possibility of getting that device approved for widespread use in about a year. And I don't mean to sound flippant about it. But it's